show you how to explore and work with the LumenRT interface and we will explore mostly the user interface and knowing that where the things are located inside the LumenRT. This software is pretty nice and really very good software uh, comparing to other 2D applications. So this will be for those who are working with the product visualizers, I say, that and architecture visualizations and architects that who are working with the many scenes and stuff so you can also bring your own um, you know models to life by adding trees cars peoples and vehicles other furnitures and stuff buildings and that this software is pretty nice and also has a very nice and powerful rendering system that will be able to render a lot of uh, no, frames within the couple of hours or maybe within few hours so the images are pretty nice so pretty nice for mm, visualizing and giving you know a nice look and feel for your uh, projects as uh, architecture projects so your clients will be wow that's amazing like when you launch uh, lumen uh, rt you will get this uh, dialog box in here which says uh, scene in here if you already have uh, saved scenes and they will be in here this is uh, the default uh, scenes that are coming with the lumen rt file when you install for the first time and then you can see as these are the scenes that uh, you know uh, you can work with and uh, these are the default scenes that give you the idea of how to work with this for in this case i'm going to choose one of the scenes in uh, this iceland let's see iceland what was that okay so it's loading and it will get some time so it will be in here in a couple of seconds so then we will be able to work with the lumen rt interface yeah it is in here it's loading cool so i'm going to fix this to match my screen okay that's cool very cool okay very cool nice and if you see in here in the left side you have the files option uh, which will be uh, this totally self-explanatory when you click and you will see the new file and loading these scenes save and if you want to share it the settings and close if you want to close the entire scene in this case now I'm not going to close and undoing the options while clicking once again it will go back to where it was so here you have the undoing option and selection when you select the scenes in the scene and anything you have it's a totally pretty nice software it's very easy setup if you have anything like a camera lights and indirect lighting like in sunlight and something like this and clipping planes for making sure that you don't want to render extra areas in your scene for example you want to mm, render on a focused building and some or car or something you don't want to render the other sides up right and up bottom so that will be very handy to give it uh, clipping plane so okay layers and layers of uh, you can manage your scenes within the layers you have the option for the weather and as you can see the brightness for the moment is a uh, little bit dull and you can do it by giving and bringing the sun over the top where the sun is in this, in this area the sun is in the here azimuth look at the azimuth so that you can bring the date and time what date and time of the day is your and the weather you want to blue sky more blue sky or less blue sky and the cloudy and if you hit this and you will have more clear sky with the less clouds le like this so this is a pretty awesome software to bring this 
your scenes to life okay so direction cloud directions is speed the more speed they're running or traveling in the with the faster speed the wind the more wind so if you have a plant and other stuffs so they will affect this it's a self-explanatory you have the option for the terrains you want to add a terrain ah sorry water if you want to add the water you can go and click one so this will give you okay so these are the options so you can play with and here is ocean if you activate the ocean so this will this will give you a ocean stuff if you want to turn it big turn it off so that's it you wanna sculpt the terrain or pull it down you wanna make a holes size less size okay so you would be able to create holes or ponds flow flow and stuff and you can check with this you can create paint like a uh, ground grass so other stuff in here and a lot of things that you can work with and here you have the option for trees vegetations and a lot of trees you have in here so in the tabs you can click and keep moving and you will have to see a lot of stuff and cooler stuff you can create so for the trees flowers this is a uh, flowers also this is vegetations a lot of vegetations and a lot of cooler stuff and the flowers and small and nice flowers look by and uh, these air these arrows are representing to move back and forth up and down these are were pretty nice okay you can work with the color and stuff and other things you can eat people animals a lot of cool stuff so you can see in here are people are the water they are laying and in, in, in the water and the people are sitting as uh, uh, taking sun and other stuff so you can create click and there you go so probably this is uh, you can paint people right oh my god <laughs> too many of them cool so this is the people you wanna work with pretty nice right okay you can add vehicles a lot of vehicles and transportation and stuff go for it and check them by clicking bringing in here click and there you go pretty self-explanatory everything is nice these are the the furniture stuff patio tents I guess yeah, these are patio tents buildings lightings and other stuff than you can see in here clipping stuff this is a render option so and if you had a click it will bring a dialog box sorry if we press and keep the mouse button left mouse button 
will give you a dialog box that you could uh, uh, create or um, make your settings for better rendering and super fine will take some time but give you a very nice result if you want to keep your uh, renders in a specific folder you can name them in here and change your folder in here and the video is also so you can hold your left mouse button not a hold mouse button so that just a click and this will be appearing here uh, what you have to do is to create in camera this camera to click a video now we have to work with the the the, uh, the transformation so we can create and with the D button with the from your mouse uh, keyboard button you can move right with the A left with W moving forward with the S it's uh, moving backward with the E it's uh, moving up with the C it's uh, moving down with the left mouse button you can tumble around sorry with the right so let me see why this is not working it is in here so I guess I have a problem recording this so but you can move tumble around with the right or left mouse button uh, with the middle mouse button you would be able to dolly around like this so if you wanna keep animating so you have to click on this camera and this will uh, this will give you so what you have to do is just um, uh, uh, move your timeline to here to give it uh, uh, more seconds to work with I guess I am having problem with my recording but things are the same so if you wanna or if you want to render what you have to do is to just right click and export the clip choose your folder you want to be able to save your thing and the dimensions whether you want the this dimension for HD for uh, TV white is a uh, 1024 by 576 in the south you want a superior quality or standard usually the standard will work fine but if you have a powerful computer you can always increase this to super fine okay I'm turning off the video stuff so and as you can see we are now in the fly mode fly through this options in here say look around with the right with the left mouse button so probably it's not working due to my recording issues with the middle mouse button it's working a little bit and it says so with the up and down and right left arrows you can move back and forth right and left and with the alt we do the same by middle mouse it says page up page down so we can do this for E and C up and down toggle tools by the tab the tab the tools are gone if I hit the tab and they are back when I hit this if one for more and here we have the option the stars for the more if you have a powerful computer you can increase to to five stars and if you have a, a, a slower computer you can turn this to one to be able to see uh, the better movements or placement of your objects this was the tutorial guys I hope you understand and learn a little bit about the, the Lumen RT software it's a uh, pretty awesome software so go and play with that thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel thank you have a good day